Hey y'all, it's Lisa with Our Gray House, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a dupe for the Anthropology Marble Tray. On their website, it retails for $98, but I'm gonna show you how to make it for less than 18. The first stop in getting supplies for today's project is gonna be Lowe's. So the inspiration piece had handles like this, that kind of extended beyond, but it was rectangular shape. They don't have those in stock in the gold. So I'm going with the rounded look. I have them in. I'm dropping stuff. That was mine. <laughs> okay, so. I was trying to stay out of your <laughs> He wants to be in my video. Okay. Photo <laughs> ball. So the inspiration piece had handles like this, but they were the rectangular shape. So I couldn't find those. It, they have them, but they're in silver, but I want a gold like the inspiration piece. So I bought these, these are rounded, but I'm also buying another set of handles, the black ones, because I think that's gonna give it a more farmhouse look. And so yeah, I'm doing two. And now, oh my gosh. I shouldn't get on the floor. Shopping trip is done. I got the two sets of handles and I also got some paint sticks because I think I'm gonna try to make a tic-tac-toe board for Valentine's Day. Um, kind of my plan. Valentine's Day is Sunday, <laughs> so it's a little late in the game to be doing it, but uh, we'll see. Second stop for the project is floor and decor. You can actually buy the pieces, the marble pieces, ceramic tile pieces, all individually, or at least you used to be able to. I hope you still can, because if not, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I got the tile, and the size I got was eight by 12, so it's pretty much perfect. And um, it was less than I thought. Two pieces was only, it was like less than $7. So now that I have the marble tiles and I have the handles, I also wanted to get some felt pads. I got these from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna put those on the bottom of the tray so that when I put it on the bedside table or whatever surface I put it on, it doesn't damage it in any way. And then you're also gonna need some E6000. That's what we're gonna glue the handles to the tray with. Now to start off, I wiped the tiles down with just some rubbing alcohol, just to make sure that there was nothing on the, the actual surface because I was gonna be gluing. Now, I'm gonna turn them over and I'm gonna add the felt pads to both trays so that way I won't have to do it later. <laughs> so, Supervisor Captain has joined us. Okay, as long as he stays out the way. I was gonna try to hot glue these down in addition to the, oh, here we go. But I was waiting for it to warm up because sometimes these aren't as sticky as they maybe need to be. And I'm just gonna put them in the four corners, nothing, I'm not measuring them or anything like that. I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue and then adhere them to the corners and then flip it over and then we're gonna finish it. I adhered the little tabs to the bottom and those of course will need to set as well because the hot glue didn't work. <laughs> That's okay. Now I'm gonna attach the handles and I'm using E6000. It tends to kind of ooze out so I gotta work a little fast and I measured out so that way I have enough room where it seems like it's as even as I can get it. I'm not super worried about it being perfect, but I do like it to be good. You know, I mean, I'm not trying to be like precisely one eighth of a quarter of an inch, you know, nothing like that. I think this is turning out pretty good. It's not dry yet. So you have to let it cure for 24 hours and I'm gonna work on the second one, the one that's the actual anthropology dupe. But yeah, I'm kind of liking it. So set that one aside do this one. This one will be a little bit harder because I don't know that my dots are lined up and I need to make sure that the dots are lined up. So I'm gonna put some glue on the bottom of this, just a dab of glue. I'm gonna hold this down, set this down. We're all gonna cross our fingers. I said I can't cross my fingers. We're all gonna cross our fingers and hope it works good. It's gonna work great. Oh, that's a little too much glue. A little too much glue. Here. And that's how it's turning out so far. 
Again, have to let it cure 24 hours, so we'll set it aside and come back to it in a little bit.